Hello, my friends. Today, we're going to look at the Perform VE from TC Helicon. That's right, it's a vocal processor, and it's yellow. And you're hearing a little bit of it right now. You're going to hear a whole lot of my voice in various means. So if you're not okay with that, please turn the video off now. Uh, so back in the day, I borrowed uh, this, the Digitech Vocalist VHM5. Here it is. Look at this. Look, at it. It's big and chunky, and I love this thing. It sounds amazing. And um, I had borrowed it from someone that I was working with at the time and returned it after making an EP. And ever since then, I've been in love with harmonizers. The one that I bought off of Reverb died. That thing is dead, unfortunately. I killed it while recording Tight Ship. Ooh, tight Ship. So uh, here we are. Rachel Collier got one of these things. Then Andrew Huang got one of these things. And I was like, hey, this sounds exactly like what I remember a really good harmonizer sounding like. And I was like, I got to get myself one of those. And so I did. Right off the bat, you can see that we got a bunch of buttons on here. I'm going to go through what each one does. So the thing that you've been hearing me do right here, this is the harmonizer. And um, you can set up a MIDI keyboard and play notes into it and um, harmonize your voice in real time, which is pretty awesome. There are some other features here too. Um, I'm just going to go from left to right and uh, we'll, we'll work it out. The first thing up here is set. Can you see the LED kind of doing a thing? So if I'm going to hold this down here, and then it's done. Now it knows the uh, the level of my voice, and it's going to use that to adjust the compressor, the deesser, and the EQ that is built into this thing sort of transparently. Like it's already sweetening my voice as we hear right now. This little knob here will go from uh, completely dry. So hi, it's me, completely dry, to just the MIDI voice, which you can hear right now. So I like to keep that in the middle so you can hear my beautiful voice along with the MIDI voice. Let's start with double. If I hit double, you're going to hear my voice doubled in a very pleasing way. If I hit level, I can change the uh, amount of doubling. I like to have about right here. Style. There's a bunch of different styles. So you can see these little things on the side here uh, that are marked. And if you hold them down, you get access to that control. So style. Here's one. This one's a nice deep octave. Hey, what's going on? We got a same, no, oh, no, that's an octave up. You can hear it doubling my voice that way. And then we got one more. That is pan left to right with a super octave and a lower octave. These are all useful in different ways, uh, depending on how you sing it. So we'll turn off double for right now, turn it back to normal, bam. Morph works in conjunction with the harmonizer voice. So let's go ahead and turn on morph and then turn this all the way to mini voice. All right, depending on what settings you are using. That's right, baby. It's a vocoder, baby. Got some style up in this thing. It sounds like a bit of a four man shift. I'm going to pretend I'm Beardy Man the entire time I'm making this video. Let's go back to this. Yeah, yeah. gender. We can turn myself down. Now I'm a real man. Or I can be whatever the fuck this is. So uh, these all work together in conjunction with each other to get you some interesting... Sh the mode thing is so you can switch between uh, polyphonic and monophonic, depending on how you're feeling. Next up, we got hard tune. So you can set the key here. If you hold down key, right now I'm in C, and I'll probably stay in C for this whole thing because that's how I roll. Amount is obviously how much the hard tune is going on. So if we could get a pitch here, something like this. There's my C. So now I can be hard auto-tuned. It's not a bad way to be. I thought at first I was going to take this seriously, but then I found that it's much better to have a little fun, hard tune. And all these work together with each other, so if I double my voice, I can hard tune and double, hard tune and double, I'm in trouble with the law. We'll get to looper and sample. 
Let's do some effects real quick so you can hear that I just turned on uh, an effect. The XFX style. Uh, we got a couple different styles. NP is no processing. Uh, here is a chopper. And if you go to um, the mods up here, you can adjust the mod for things. Style 2 is a panned tremolo. And again, you can make the choice to do various things with it. What do we got here? Ooh, hi. This, I believe, is a ring modulator. Ring modulator. And this is a flanger. This is a wonderful sound that sounds like an airplane going by. Hey, what's up? Actually, there's a flanger and there's a phaser, and uh, that may have been the uh, phaser lext. And then the last one you're not going to hear right now until we get to loop, but it's a it's a um, sidechain, which is actually pretty damn cool in conjunction with everything else. So um, there's some samples built into this, and you can um, have your vocals uh, sidechain with it. Unfortunately all the vocal side chain. So you can't like do loops and then sing non side chain on top of it. Um, it's all part and parcel of the same thing. Finally, we have echo and reverb. Let's go ahead and turn reverb all the way down so you can just hear delay. Delay amount, which is also built into the feedback. So it's sort of like wet, dry and feedback at the same time. The division of the Delay, 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 delay timing. 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 We'll go ahead and put that back around here. Right here. Yeah, right there. Uh, and then turn down the delay and turn up the reverb. I love reverb. We got a couple different reverb styles. We got this one. Hey. We got this one. A little darker. We got this one. Sounds like maybe a plate. I don't know. You can hear like distinct little echoes, which is kind of interesting. And then this dark one, and that's it. I'm gonna keep it here. I like this dark one, it's pretty nice. And uh, that's good, all right. Finally, we have a filter. The filter has a couple different modes. Um, we're gonna go down to here, which turns it into a, uh, if you hit mod, you can do it for high pass. High pass, low pass, high pass. And then the rest of the modes are, uh, I'm actually not super familiar with them, to be honest. Sounds like we have a bit of a low pass with some radio sound on it. Here is another low pass. And another low pass. And then this sounds like it's coming out of a megaphone, which is kind of cool. Kind of cool. And this must be the frequency for that. So a bit of uh, band passing and distortion, if that's your thing. Pretty nice. Is there any more? That's it. All right. Let's go back down to this one. In the manual, you can look up uh, which signals the filter will affect depending on which mode it's in. So you basically have like three signals that you're dealing with. You have the looper signal, you have the incoming, incoming signal, signal that you're actually doing live, you have your voice, and then you have the sample things. So let's get into this thing real quick. This is really cool. So you've already seen that I can um, harmonize my voice, but when this thing's on, that gets turned off and I'll show you what happens. Uh, okay, so I just recorded a sample. When this mode is green, uh, that sample is flattened down to a pitch. It's flattened, it like does pitch detection and turns it into the root note of, uh, of the keyboard basically. So um, now this is an instrument I can play. It's a really cool instrument I can play. It's a really cool, it's a really cool, it's a really cool, it's a really cool, it's a really cool instrument I can play. It's a really cool instrument I can play. Now we're back to my favorite thing, which is the harmonized things. Oh, I forgot to mention. When you're in a harmonizer mode, you turn on a morph. These things will affect the harmonized voice. Are we back to normal? Wonderful. That's a pitch shifter. I don't like to turn on morph that much when I'm messing with stuff because it ends up sounding like this. And that's a little weird to me. Looper. So this is going to be a kick, snare, and hi-hat plus a vocal loop, an input loop. 
So the cool thing is that I've, I've never had a looper before. Um, and I was surprised at how sort of like smart this thing is. It's pretty limited. Uh, it's not like an RC505, which, by the way, I do have on the way because I want to be Beardy Man. But uh, it does automatically detect the tempo based on your loop. So if I record a loop here by holding or by pressing loop, so this blinks red, and I can record a loop. Now it knows what tempo I'm in. You can change the snare sound afterwards. Over here is a hi-hat, which uh, I'll talk about in a second. A second. Ah, see, it picked up my voice. I've now just deleted that particular loop. So holding down set and pressing uh, kick snare or hi-hat will delete the loop that you've recorded on that particular channel. Unfortunately, there is no way that I know of to mute a loop. So it's either all or nothing, which kind of sucks. Anyways, so that's a loop. Now that we do have a loop, I can um, go back to the side chain compression. So let's and just record a four on the floor kick. There's quantization happening um, with the drum loops here. So it will auto quantize your, uh, your live playing of the drums itself to um, the grid that it figures out for tempo, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can hear that when I turn the side chain on, I now have side chains vocals. If that's your thing, then that's real cool. And I guess it's pretty useful. Double tapping loop will uh, kill everything there. You can see now there is no loop active. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Um, this little microphone here, apparently you can sing into it, which is great if you don't have a microphone plugged in like I do right here. Apparently also it will listen to music that's playing in the room and attempt to change the harmonizing vocals and key stuff to what it can pick up as a uh, as pitches going on in the room. I haven't tried this because I don't really play many acoustic instruments, but it's theoretically possible. And judging by how good everything else on this works, I'm kind of assuming that it works okay. Wow, okay. So um, that is the basics of this thing. And uh, I guess now I'll just do some performance stuff with it and um, let you hear what it sounds like all together. <sighs> All right, so I was messing around with this performance a little bit. Let's see if I can actually pull it off in any way that doesn't sound terrible. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for the shadows Dawning on the table on my phone mm -hmm. And when you say a word you can be the one that cleans it up mm. Oh, it's a long way down To the hollowed ground well, I've been thinking about the time when Failure was the only Now I've got a mile of table, a clearer image of my heart. Well, it's a long way down to the hard ground. It's a long way down It's a long Yeah, so that's a bunch of really weird dumb shit with the TC Helicon Perform VE I think it's fun I think it's really fun And if you don't like it I'm sorry, you don't know how to have fun
That's right. Okay. My name is Jeremy. This is Red Means Recording. It's been really fun hanging out with you. And, uh... That's it. How wonderful do you? Like and subscribe. Motherfucker. Let me tell you something.